Hey YouTube, so I wanted to make a quick video to show you how to access ChatGPT through a note-taking app. The reason I want to do this is I've been seeing a lot of people talking about how they can't access ChatGPT, the server or the site's overloaded, come back later, and so what this is going to do is give you a much more reliable way to access ChatGPT without having to navigate to the web page through your web browser. So you don't need to be too technical to do this. The process itself is gonna just take two or three minutes. And uh, whether you're on a Windows, Mac, or Linux computer, everyone should be able to follow along. The two things you're gonna need here is the note-taking app, which is called LogSeek, free to download, free to use. And you're also gonna need an OpenAI account, again, free to use, uh, free to create. If you've already used ChatGPT, then you probably already have an OpenAI account. So first and foremost, what we're going to do, uh, if you'll see on the screen, we are going to navigate to logseek.com, L-O-G-S-E-Q. And uh, I'm going to have the links in the description below, but uh, we're going to download this desktop app. Now, uh, this will auto-detect the computer that you're on and the operating system. Uh, if you are on a more modern Mac, so an M1 or M2, just go ahead and click below for the Apple Silicon uh, version. And then uh, let this download. And, and while this is downloaded, we're going to go over to openai.com and we are going to click API. And then there's going to be two options here, login or sign up. So I already have an account, so I'm going to choose login. And then once we are logged in, we're going to go back up to the right hand top corner where it says personal. And then we're going to expand the option menu and then we're going to choose view API keys. And then here we're going to create a new secret key. So this key that is now generated, we're going to copy to our clipboard and then we're going to come down to our logseek installation file and we are going to install the application and uh, give this a moment to download. And once it has downloaded, we can launch it. Pull this over. All right, we'll say open. Okay, great. And then here we go. We are in LogSeq. Um, it's pretty intuitive. You just begin typing and it will arrange your notes into different dates. And, you know, as you just click enter, you can create new bullets and then you can kind of tab in and, and nest your notes inside of these. But what I want to do is first uh, come up to the ellipses up here at the top right and we're going to choose the plugins option. And then here we have installed and marketplace. So since this is new, we don't have anything installed. We're going to go over to the marketplace and we are just going to search for the GPT plugin. And then you'll notice that here we have a GPT-3 OpenAI plugin from Brian Sunter. Thank you very much, Brian. So now we're going to click install on the bo bottom right of this thumbnail. And then once this is installed, we can go back over to our installed plugins tab. And then we're going to click the cog at the bottom left of this thumbnail and open settings. And then in here, the very top option is where, where we are going to paste in our API key. Now, the other options down here, you can leave them all as default, but it does give us the ability to, to change or modify some of the parameters. So DaVinci 003 is the latest and greatest. Um, again, if you've used ChatGPT in the web browser, this is the um, the model that you've been using. But if you have a little bit more knowledge here, you can customize this if you would like. And then the tokens. This might be one that you want to change. So I'm going to bump mine up to 1500. You'll see here that one token is approximately four characters. And uh, so really this is kind of the, the text output limits. If you ask a question of ChatGPT, like generate a uh, blog post for me, you'll notice that sometimes there are character limits. You can have to tell it to continue. And this is, uh, this is where this comes in handy. All right, and then so I'm just gonna click X and there's no need to save or anything. And then now we can just close out of this. And then the way that you activate or ask a question of ChatGPT is by entering in your prompt and then typing in a forward slash. So we'll say, um, write a poem about Linux and then forward slash GPT. You'll notice there are two options, a page and a block. Both of them return results from ChatGPT, it just depends on the, the format. So a block is going to give us a, uh, an indented bullet, whereas a page is going to create a new bullet. So here we can see uh, this is our output from ChatGPT. And there you go. So you can now access ChatGPT consistently 
through LogSeq. So if we were to close this, reopen it, you don't need to re-log in. It has the API key. Now, the only caveat I'll mention here is in the future, if uh, OpenAI starts charging for usage of ChatGPT, you might have to get a subscription uh, to to generate a new API key because you're still, you know, this is still costing them money in, in terms of using ChatGPT. So if you have any questions, please let me know below, but I have found this to be a much more consistent and reliable way to access ChatGPT, especially when um, the, the web services are overloaded. All right, thanks for watching.